If you want to share a USDT address with someone to receive USDT on your wallet or if you are withdrawing USDT say from a exchange like Binance, you will need a wallet which supports USDT. Now USDT can be exported or can be sent from Binance on different chains and the fees involved with these different chains differ as well. So as you would see on Binance, your options to send USDT would be across the Tron chain, Optimism, Ethereum chain, Polygon chain, multiple chains are supported. So today we will go ahead and set up a new MetaMask to learn how to generate your own USDT address. And then I'll show you how you can generate a TRC20 address as well on Trust Wallet along with the nuances involved and the complications which you could run into. So let's go through that whole process. First things first, find the App Store or Play Store, search for MetaMask and download MetaMask. So we'll get a fresh installation of MetaMask and that's where we will begin from. After we have installed MetaMask, let's set up our wallet before we get a USDT address going. We'll say get started here. We will say create a new wallet. If you have an existing wallet on MetaMask or you have see secret recovery phase for an existing MetaMask wallet which you want to use, by all means go ahead and use that option. I'll create a new wallet. I would say I agree over here. I'll accept the terms and conditions and click accept. Now I have to set up this password over here. Remember this password which I am entering over here is only for MetaMask or only for MetaMask installation on this device. This is not my blockchain password or my private keys. This password will only protect anyone from opening this MetaMask and doing something on this phone. So I'll set up a password. But what comes after the password and of course Touch ID, Face ID, those could be enabled. What comes after the password is crucial. That's the secret recovery phrase which you really need to protect. So I will click start to start securing my own secret recovery phrase. Remember it says remind me later. You could choose to do this later and get started with your wallet. I will recommend never do that. It is basically gifting away your money um, to the infinite universe. You are never getting it back if you do that. So now when we come back here, we have an option to secure our wallet. We can click start. I like to note these phrases down on a piece of paper and keep multiple copies in multiple places. I often even split these 12 words into uh, two parts of six words each and secure them at separate locations. You could choose to do that as well. But basically now these words are seen over here. Ideally it should never be seen on a camera and uh, I will note them down in the next step. We will confirm that if we have noted them in the right order and then we will start our wallet journey with MetaMask. I'll go to the next step and now I have to just confirm the right order for these words. Now remember if I select it in the wrong order, you will see this red border which will come up and it will not be accepted. So I'll have to enter it in the right order. And once I do that, I can just complete my backup. And now I can start using MetaMask. I'm gonna enable up security checks, no thanks to a tutorial. Now over here, we need to understand USDT can be transacted with various networks. You see the network part over here. Ethereum main network is where we are. This is the most expensive network. That's all you need to remember. I would ideally never send or receive USDT on this network. No point paying 20 or $30 or even more at point. At some point I've seen friends paying even $500 as gas fees for making transactions on the Ethereum network. That is just plain um, stupid. So we will add network over here and we will add optimism, approve. We will add polygon and click approve. And we'll have these two networks. These are two good networks. So I can go to Pol uh, Polygon network. Within Polygon network, my address is right here. I can just click this to get my address and I can import tokens. Over here, I can search for USDT. I get USDT right here. And I can just scroll down and click import. So now I have USDT on the Polygon network. I can copy this address. And when someone is sending it to me, I just need to tell them that send it to the Polygon network and this is my address which could be now sent to anyone. So that's on the Polygon network. You could do the same thing on Optimism. You will again have to go and import token. Uh, over here, uh, to import a token, you need to manually enter these details. 
I'll probably make a separate video around that. But uh, I think um, on the Ethereum network, I can just say import tokens and I can search for USDT or even USDC and just import it over here. Now remember this, if I have my USDT on the Ethereum network to send and receive it, I also need Ether to pay the gas fees. If I am on Optimism, I again need Ether to pay gas fees. If I am on Polygon, Matic is what is needed to pay the gas fees. So you could receive your tokens, but to send it or do any transactions, you will need gas fees. Polygon generally has very low gas fees, so Matic token could be acquired to do that. If you want to avoid this whole gas fees um, situation and if you want to not think about what gas fees I am paying for which token and which transaction, a smart contract wallet is what you need and I use Obvious Wallet for the same. So I would recommend that you check out Obvious Wallet and create a smart wallet over there. I'll give you a link to Obvious in description. So back to this. Uh, so you have now your USDT address across different chains. So that's pretty much uh, got you covered. But if you want to get TRC20, you need to use Trust Wallet. Setting up Trust Wallet is pretty similar. It's similar to how we set up MetaMask. If you want me to make a detailed video on how to set up Trust Wallet, drop me a comment and I'll make a video around that. And over here, you, know, you see this Manage Crypto option. Over here, you have to just select Tron as your network. That is your TRC20 network. And then you have USDT right here. You can enable it. Go back and you will see USDT on Tron right here. Click on that, you click receive and you get your QR code and address right here to receive USDT. Remember this address is always case sensitive. So be careful when sharing it with someone, don't try to manually type it, you will lose your crypto. So copy and share it, or if you are withdrawing it from an exchange like Binance, this would work on TRC20. But again, if you are on the Tron network, you need the Tron token to pay gas fees. That complication remains, and I have already told you how to um, save yourself from that effort. So you will need some TRX token if you want to make transactions on the Tron network. So you are, now you will need TRX and USDT both to be able to do transactions. So that's pretty much it uh, from my end today. Uh, I hope you found some value in this video. Do hit like and your questions can come in the comments box. See you.